Parmigiani Fleurier have truly swept away the watch world in recent years, and the story of their management overhaul flinging them into the realm of high horology has garnered an appropriate amount of gushing praise. The Tonda PF Minute Rutterpart continues this trend and proves that what Parmigiani lack in design diversity, they more than make up for in ingenuity and class. The Tonda PF Rutterpart GMT made serious waves when it was first released last year mainly due to the golden GMT hand, which hid perfectly beneath the silver hour hand until it was needed. Well, this watch takes the same concept, but applies it to the minute hand, creating a unique take on a countdown timer. This would be perfect for timing something like a parking meter or cooking or even just playing around with the watch. The 18 karat rose gold hand can be advanced in five or one minute increments via the pushes on the case's left-hand side. To snap the Retropanta hand back beneath its silver disguise, you can use the pusher embedded in the crown. In typical PF fashion, the rest of the dial is tastefully minimal, but never in a way that becomes uninteresting. Their trademark texture is called the Orge Gioche. Not exactly sure how to say that, but I think you get the picture. Machined by hand and given a sandy beige tint that underlines the steel and platinum used in the case while connecting the rose gold elements thematically. Well, it's subtle, but there's also an outer ring on the dial's periphery that's blasted for a matte texture, easing that transition between the sparse complexity of the dial and the shimmery platinum bezel. There won't be too many surprises from the Tonda PF Minute Rutrapunt case if you're familiar with the brand's modern catalog, but that doesn't make it any less of a masterpiece. With flowing lines that drape over the wrist somewhat sensually, whilst the lugs jut out a little bit from the sides of the case that hint at some kind of old school opulence. The diameter is only 40 mil across, but the effect of splitting the lugs between brushed and polished surfaces actually makes it appear a little bit wider, ensuring maximum wrist presence within the boundaries of comfort. A thickness of 10.7mm passes that cuff sliding trope, but this probably isn't a watch that you'd want to hide. The Sapphire Display Case Pack grants us a view into the in-house calibre PF052, a modified version of the movement which powered the Rachopant GMT. Its beautifully decorated plates form what looks like a mystical map, with the gaps between them as rivers that peek into the busy gears and components. Beaming in the wide open lake is the automatic micro rotor, made of 22 karat gold and deeply engraved with a featured texture. The finishing is at an incredible level, especially considering the price. 28,000 Swiss francs is by no means cheap but the value on offer here goes without question. Anyway, what do you think of the Tondo PF Minute Rutter part? And particularly, what do you think of this new timing function or timer function? It certainly goes without question that that is one heck of a unique complication for a mechanical watch, but hell, I'll take it. Curious to know what you think in the comments. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you could hit subscribe because it makes a massive difference to the watches that we get access to here at Time and Tide. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>